Good morning, and it is indeed good. So, you know, uh, those of you who've been watching for a little while, you know, the last couple days I was having a bit of an issue on something I was working on for the final boss while programming Tom on a pogo stick. I'm happy to say that, uh, I guess, overnight, just the answer came to me, and I was able to fix the problem I was having over the last couple days in about 30 minutes without scrapping any of my work like I thought I was going to have to do, so very excited about that, and it's a fantastic start to the day. Now to go to work and continue game programming. Good morning, guys. It's going to be a good day. Do you know why it's going to be a good day? I just fixed my pants. Well, let's not do that way. You probably don't want to see my pants, but yeah, they wouldn't close, and now they do, because I'm awesome, and I figured out why they were designed stupidly and fixed that. Yeah! Probably it had mostly to do with the fact that I bought a slim fit and my hips are wide, but for some reason, the pockets were, like, somehow joined with fabric to the zipper, so, like... <laughs> Unless you had no <laughs> hips, those jeans weren't gonna close. So I was like, you know what, I could just like do a quick cut or two and then fix it properly later, like it's not gonna fall apart. But I feel good about myself for figuring that out. Now I can actually wear pants out because if any of you have been following me for any amount of time, I have no more pants. They all have holes in them. And then I got these ones and the zipper wouldn't close and it was really, really annoying. I'm gonna go put some makeup and stuff on now because I actually have somewhere to go today. And I'm at school. Why am I at school again? Actually, there's a blood donation clinic here today, and I'm giving. <laughs> I don't like needles. I'll tell you a couple horrible stories later. I'm a little self-conscious right now. But yeah, I think I'm a type O. I'm not quite sure. So I figure, you know, I want to donate as much as I can, because that's a really, really good blood type for this thing. So I'm here. People are looking at me. I'm terrified. I have tiny, tiny veins. Let's see how this goes. Well, I didn't end up getting my blood taken today. Yeah, earlier I was saying I had tiny veins. That's exactly the reason it didn't happen. There are a lot of cars. My veins are very, very small, and fortunately they dilate as you get older for some reason. Last time I attempted to take a blood test in college, as it was offered as part of our, uh, you know, student health plan, and I was like, oh, what the heck, why not run a full physical? And they couldn't take it out because I was had been recently sick and my veins are so so tiny like really really tiny and when they're dehydrated they shrink up even more and I've had some really really horrible experiences in the past once I was really really dehydrated and really sick I had to go to a hospital and they could not get get them and they had to use like the tiniest tiniest available needle which is like called a butterfly it's what they use on children it's super super tiny and I had to get that to put in my veins, but they couldn't get a vein. And my veins actually started to like collapse and retreat further into my skin. Yeah, it was pretty gross. And you guys might be grossed out, but I was feeling pretty bad. I felt like a pin cushion the next day when I went back to school because I was cleared that night. I made the mistake of wearing a three quarter sleeve top and people kept asking me if everything at home was okay because I had all these bruises. The thing that's worse is I think I have a type O blood type, which if you know anything about blood types is the type that can give to every other blood type. And so whenever they do collection drives here, they always ask specifically for people with type O. I think I am a type O. So I'm always like, yeah, I'll go give some. And then I always get stopped just short. Last time it was because I had only recently got my helix pierced and so you know just for safety you can't do any collection within six months just to be absolutely sure this time i got to the chair i was really really nervous and then they tested both my arms and they were like yeah we're not comfortable doing this to you so i'm sorry i couldn't get you any cool footage anybody who's an agoraphobe i think is someone scared of blood and agoraphobe or hemophobe I don't know. At least you people are probably breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> I'm gonna put my mitts back on now. <laughs> Holy cow. I actually got home first. This is like the first time I've had the apartment to myself in... Possibly ever since we moved in? That can't be right. Crazy, like anytime Annie's been out over the last several months, it's been while I was at work. Or I've been with her, so... I, I don't even know what to do with this... What, what, what do they call it? Privas pri privacy? I think that's what it is. Of course, Annie is on her way home. Probably by the time I'm done feeding these guys, she'll be here, so... Oh well. What kind of thing would I do, like, if I had to place myself? 
Would I even act any differently? What do you think? You certainly aren't acting any differently. Yeah. Probably the only thing I really would do at home alone that I don't tend to do when Annie is here is singing. And I, I don't mean like the silly bursting out into dumb songs that I do, because I do that all the time anyway. But I'm referring more to like actual heartfelt singing. And I guess not just singing, like anything really like artistically expressive. I don't know. I don't know. It's just... I guess I'm shy, is all it is, but that's really the only thing I could think about how I would conduct myself differently alone. But maybe it's just been too long, who knows? <laughs> now who's filming whom getting home? It's really weird. Hi guys! Yeah, I was just saying on the vlog, like, I think this is like the first time I've had the place to myself, like, possibly since we moved here. That's not true. I'm coming out without you. Yes, while I'm at work, usually. Well, you've been here alone once before. Maybe once. I can't remember, though, that's the thing. Well, at least you're out making money. <laughs> yes, that is good. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just got home, and you weren't here, and it was really weird. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's, it's weird. It's weird. So I just finished uh, feeding the cats, and I'm about to start uploading the video you edited yesterday, and then I will hand it over to you to finish up the one you started. Okay, I was expecting your voice to just keep going higher and higher. <laughs> oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god! Are you waiting to be drawn like one of my French girls? Where are these French girls that you talk of? I kind of want to meet them. Oh. <laughs> well then. That started in a completely different way than I thought it would. It's much later now. I don't think we filmed anything since we got home, huh? Uh... Possibly not, no. No. Yeah. What do we do? Um, we edited and ate supper and now we're here. Playing tactics over. Whoop whoop. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Did you try flossing and vlogging at the same time? I may have. Did it work? Then, no, because my hands are occupied. You know, I know you prefer the like little floss toothpicks, but this is literally the only brand of floss that I've ever found that my teeth don't shred to pieces. Yeah, but my hands are so small I can't fit, th or my, ugh, I always say my hands, but my mouth is so small I can't fit my hands in them to do the flossing. Yeah. So what? It's like we just need separate brands of floss because... You, sorry, excuse me, Bill is being rude and interrupting. She also found some garbage. She's been sliding around on that. Yeah, she just runs and like, like jumps on it and slides on her belly. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna... It's like, you have been stealing my old Christmas stocking from when I was a little girl. Yeah, he's just been like cuddling with that thing all night. It's so cute. He loves that thing so much. Anytime I come out here, he's like curled up in that corner with the stockings and sleeping on them. He seems so happy. <laughs> anyway, if the cats aren't more important than me this time. Yeah, well, I, I, was, I always try to say something with them. You know. Well, anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that I'm going to go gargle some mouthwash and then I think we're going to get some sleep. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm still getting over the not being able to donate blood. I am kind of bummed about that. It's a little embarrassing. A shadow just passed over our little lookout door hole thing. It kind of creeped me out for a second. <laughs> I'm mad at not holding my anxiety. I don't know. Okay, bye. What? Oh, hi. You were just sort of like walking off. I was like, oh, okay then. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone, and it was lovely to see you again. And I hope you'll be with us tomorrow, because tomorrow's Friday, and then it's the weekend. And that's very exciting, because fun stuff happens on the weekend. Fun. When you have money. Well... No, I mean, even when we don't have money, because we just have more time to do things. In the day. Okay, fine, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, we'll see you guys tomorrow, and... Watch out for that wall. Oh, God. That was the lamest. Yeah.